So what happened with the hand job last night? I was just a massage that went awry. How? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think you're coming over for at that hour? Uh-oh, she didn't know. Awful little mousy Canadian. You. But it and seems like you would be a pro by now, where you would know which ladies are going to give you the, uh, the old... Uh, happy ending. The old happy Handy. ending at 3 in the morning. Oh. 3 in the morning, she comes to your house. Uh, is she doing, like, the regular massage? Yeah, kind of. Where are you laying? In the bed? Yeah. All right, so you're in your bedroom. Naked. Naked. You're yeah. completely naked. My stupid arm stretched out, just nude on my stomach. Was she, was she even trying to cover <laughs> your ass up with anything? Oh, no. All right. Her fingers brushed my balls a couple of times. Like as she was doing your inner thigh? <laughs> 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 and she had a... Uh, she she uh, so she she knew what was going on and then how how does it end where she goes uh, no I don't do that you see that when when they start looking at the clock towards the end of the hour you're like uh oh oh boy I saw so you start aiming your penis at them like just grabbing it and kind of pointing it in the general direction that they're sitting at <laughs> like, like an accusing finger <laughs> was she on your back was she what, were you on your back by that point I was yeah yeah when 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 the t minutes are ticking away I'm sure Jimmy just flips right over you have no idea I'm fucking yeah. I'm Frank flip. And, uh, of course, fully aroused. No. No? For what? She was doing nothing. Well, I, I would think to let her know. No, uh, she... Give her the old, hey, got to take care of this issue. No, little, little dumb Adrian fucking from Rocky face. <laughs> Stupid Talia Shire <laughs> mousy face. She should be having a miscarriage in a fucking pet food store. <laughs> <laughs> so she, uh, she, did she go near it? Did she, f like, brush... Uh, that when you were on your back? Yeah, she was just weird, man. She brushed it. And then what? What? what how does it end? What do you say to her? Like, you, I'm just, I'm just start stroking it and offering her more money. Oh, you did? But did I? Yeah. So, so you start stroking it, and then you go, "What do you need? Like twenty more bucks? What? I'm like, what's the line? I don't know. Sometimes you don't know with them. And she's yeah. Like, nah, I normally don't. I'm like, look, I know the game. You do. Wow. I've been here. All right, that's scary, right there. Why? That's scary to me. If a girl's in there doing that, and then you go, look, no, I know. No, 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 no. Well, this is after she was dressed and stuff. Like, and dressed when she's got her jacket and stuff on. She's like, I normally, I'm like, look, I, I've done it enough. I understand. You do. Once in a while, you'll do it when you're in the mood. I know. Oh, wait a minute. You weren't her type? Um, well, neither Not apparently you were was, insinuating. Neither was Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So you had to send her on her way. You paid her. Wait. So was it awkward for an hour? Because you. This is towards the end. You invited her over for a massage. Was it a legit oh. massage? Like she was. Uh, yeah. So it was mediocre. Oh. And then I wound up giving her extra. She wound up doing it. Oh, she did. With a jacket on, standing there. <laughs> oh my God! How. <laughs> it was awful. What a horrid scene this is. I'm on my back at the end of the bed, just jerking it and talking to her. And I already, I already paid her. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not, a, a, I'm not menacing. Can you, can I right. ask you a question? Sure. How much more did you have to pay for her to sit there and watch you jerk it, and then she kind of helped while she, she had her jacket with, with on? Her tits off. You know, she took her tits out. Her tits off. Her tits out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she did. Yeah. Out of her jacket. No, no, she opened the jacket. Like, oh, okay. Uh, How much so, extra? I don't know. Hundred. <laughs> oh my God. So. Was there a negotiation that went back and forth? Like, yeah. you know, I'll give you a look. I'll give you twenty five if you just this, finish yeah. it. Up. And she goes, no. And no. then, and then, what? What did you say then? Like, what would it take to make you happy? What would it take? And she said, I, I. I so she went like that. I'm like, all right, there's a price. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful then, acting. What was your next offer? Seventy five. Seventy five, and she still went no. She's like, um, what, what are you gonna do to my tits? Uh, what, are you, what are you going to do? Cut them off if you yeah. don't say yes, you idiot. It's really annoying. And then you had to say, all right, look, I'll give you 100 That's it, yeah. That's it. And then how long did it take her to say yes? Did she go uh, again she or just, just go? She did oh. it. And I was, what a rod I had. She, she reached over. <laughs> At that point, it wouldn't have mattered who was standing there, if there as long as there was a human hand on it. <laughs> Why? You were just so worked up? How could you not be? And, uh, You're jerking off with a strange Canadian looking at you. How could you not be turned on? I don't know. That seems so awkward and it was and out of place. Yeah, and there, she doesn't want to do yeah. this. Was there small talk going on? A <laughs> light. Like you know. what? What were you talking about? Uh, just like, um, it's like, like you know, what do you think at this hour? What are you, what are you thinking? Like I wasn't and rude or vicious. I mean, like, yeah. she could have laughed and she knew it. I was. I'm not very threatening. 
I'm like, she's like, well, I said legitimate. I'm like, it's two in the morning. You came. Yeah. And I'm naked. What do you, you brush my balls. She kind of laughed. I'm like, you did, she's like, I didn't mean to. I'm like, yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't mean you to. did mean to. <laughs> I know what the finger brushing the balls means. That's the wink. <laughs> the wink of the massage girl. Oh my! So now, I, I, so I, I assume this is, a, this is a documentary waiting to happen. Oh, no. Dude, this is a reality show waiting to happen. Oh, it was so annoying because your career is going so well, and you're sitting there two in the morning, and then and this Happy. zero shows up, a zero, and she's not going to do what you expect she her to do. Like, you know who she looked like? Frenchie from Greece. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Massage school dropout. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> So now I, I, I assume she uh, finishes you off. Yeah. Uh, how long after that does she leave? Um, I was wiping them up, handed her the bill, and she fucking amscrated, and I smirked at her as she left. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. You got her. I did, though. She, she actually wanted, she would have, was very happy to leave with no extra money. Yeah. She, she would have left with no extra money. Yet. So it was a success for you? Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> beat it did I, she wash up oh well, yeah but you know what the thing is she sold me one car instead of selling me many cars in the future ah uh, okay see see what a dope she's never getting Jimmy, a call you sound back. really tired today too oh, how could you not be up haggling and it was like it was like a fucking it was like a a, a, a turkish flea market <laughs> but i don't understand don't you have like regulars that'll come over and do what you want what, what fun is that who wants sex who wants sex no, I'm talking about you when you game when, like this. Yeah. I'm talking about when you're going down the massage route. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably, but some of them, you, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm done with that, done with that. You want to just move on? Mm. It's fun. <laughs> I was very frustrated, but they couldn't do a documentary. I don't want to sign off on it. Yeah, let's yeah. go to George in Chicago. George, hey, I know what Jimmy said to the Canadian when he flipped over. He pointed to his cock and said, "What are we going to do about this, eh? 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 Yeah." Hey. All right. Out. Let's go to Bob in Jersey. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? Hundred dollars for a hand job? Dude, I, Boy, and you could get blown for forty in dude, Jersey. I know. I in know. In Germany, I know. I, here's a rule of thumb: never negotiate with your cock out. What was she a Craigslist yep. whore? They say never go food shopping hungry. That's exactly That's what it is. Exactly what you did. <laughs> yeah. Was it she a Craigslist? I went, not only did I go food shopping hungry. But I went to the farm where they where they named the prices, <laughs> you know, and he knew I wanted those eggs. Yeah, she, she knew absolutely you weren't going to let her leave without her doing what you wanted her to do. Oh, and did she know like who that. you were? No, I wouldn't. All I had to do tell her, hey, you watch Comedy Central? Stroke it. <laughs> Jack it. <laughs> just, uh, just Jack it. Yeah, any of these ladies recognize you when they oh, show yeah. up? Yeah, I believe it. There's one I've called. She goes, oh, you're the one with the pictures on the wall. When I used to live in 43rd uh, Street. You're the one with the funny the pictures of you and famous people on the wall. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah, that's me. That's what you're known for. All right, let's say hi to Matt in New York. Hey, Matt, what's up? Hey, guys. Uh, I want to ask Jimmy, what's the exact protocol to initiate the transaction? Because I went uh, about a month ago. I went to... a. Uh, uh, massage parlor, and it was on, you know, it was the upper level of a storefront, so it probably wasn't a legit place. I get there, I start getting the massage, and then the girl flips me over, and she goes, okay, what do you want? And I said, you know, do everything. And she goes, she looks at me, everything? I said, yeah, do everything. She goes, oh, no, that's illegal. I felt like such a tool, and I had to slink my way out of the place. Because you are a tool. Whenever they, whenever they say, no, that's illegal, that right. means that they want to know that you're not a cop. Um, right, I mean... Uh... I mean, I came in, I was, you know, I wasn't wearing anything that was, I wasn't wearing plain clothes. I was actually coming in scrubs and stuff. I remember one time I went to this place in Los Angeles a long time ago. And the girl, the first night, fucking, I went to see her. And she, I'm on my back on the table. And my leg is propped up. It was like a $70 massage. $60 massage, actually. And she had, like, she has my right leg. Picture yourself on your back. Um, with your right leg bent and out to the right, and she's holding it and kind of doing this weird pressure. She didn't want to do anything. I finally got her to jerk me off. Like she, she actually was like, "All right." Um, they they all seem like, "Ugh, okay." She she did, but she was sexy. She wouldn't let me touch her ass or anything. I come back to see her again because she turned me on. She's fucking massaging me. She starts leaning down. The next thing you know, oh, right down on it. Wow. On fucking, she just started blowing me. How did that happen? Who knows? God's intervention. <laughs> it was so unexpected. She was just blowing me. She had a few drinks in her. 
Ah. I think. I want to bang in her. Uh, fucking standing behind the massage table. Wow, look at you. A long time. After I came, she would just lay on the couch for a half hour, zoned out and drunk, playing with herself. She wanted me to go. It was really bizarre. Jeepers. Yes, you never know. It's a far cry from, all right, uh, yeah. don't touch my ass. Yeah. All right, let's go to Theo in South uh, Dakota. Theo. What's up, guys? Hey, I want, just love listening to you guys. Fucking got XM about uh, about three months ago. Got to tell you guys the shit. Used to love Howard, but uh, totally fucking hate that fucker now. Um, but I uh, just wanted to mention, because Jimmy was talking about that, obviously that blowjob, or that hand job for 100 bucks. I was in uh, fucking Detroit. Had some uh, hooer come over, fucking thought I was definitely going to get something, paid 300 bills, only to have her fucking sit on the bed naked with her fucking C-section scar, give me a fucking blow, or a hand job. Yeah, it's the fucking worst. Horrible. Fucking horrible. I, so, that's all. Thanks, yeah. guys. Appreciate them out. All right. I had one, um, I forgot my story when he called shit. But a hand job. All right, keep thinking. Let's go to Ass F in Jersey. Ass F. Hey, uh, quite serious question for Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, how close did you ever come to actually pulling the trigger? I've been listening to you for a while. Oh, myself? Yeah, on yourself. Relatively close. Or toe on the trigger, whatever. Uh, yeah, relatively close. I mean, what's relatively close? Like actually gun or pills or... I don't know, sir. Just say relatively close. <laughs> All right, well, I think you have to try it tonight. It. Please. All right. I was in L.A., and I went for a massage, and she was legit. And I knew she was legit because she made you drape. And uh, What? She, they, 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 were, they, they put draping over you. Oh, okay. Um, drape. And when you walked through the bathroom, there was a sign. It said, all these code words. Drape. Yeah, maybe a drape. Draping. Like, yeah, it's a legit <laughs> Yeah, one. draping. Yeah. yeah. We all know about draping. I know about draping. Sure. <laughs> when, when, you, when you walk in, I walked into the bathroom, and there was a thing over the toilet that said, May you be in heaven a half hour before the devil knows you're dead. And I'm like, I looked at my dick and went, it's not going to happen, fella. <laughs> <laughs> and um, when I came out, I got undressed. And uh, she's like, you have to get under the towel. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, oh, you're really strict with that. She goes, yes, absolutely. And oh, like, you just know. She was for fucking not fucking around. So she gave wow. a good massage. Yeah, then you just, you probably just write it off like, okay. I'm going to enjoy a good massage. Absolutely. A deep tissue massage. The first <laughs> massage I went for yesterday, around 6 p.m., was actually a very good... Uh, Regular massage? Yes, it did not end... How many massages did you get yesterday? Yeah. Two. Uh, two. <laughs> I'm fucking out of control. I just want love. I just got a second massage. You just wait, need wait. a girl to be touching you and talking wait, to you. Wait, we were talking about hoarding yesterday, and you wanted to collect... Uh, Hugs and something else. You want to collect yeah, little... Uh, I'll um, put it in a bottle. What was it again? I, I don't remember, but I know it's, I'd like... Come on, help me out. I don't remember. Was it Tender Moments? Tender Sentiments. Mm. Oh, it's Tender Sentiments. Tender <laughs> Sentiments. <laughs> Sounds and like hugs. you need some of those hugs you've been collecting. Hugs. It ended badly the first one, too. It was a really bad day yesterday. What? What happened? It's, it's like I, fishing with Jimmy. Uh, I didn't catch anything. Ah, uh, nothing. Brought my bait. Well, not for that reason. Tackle. No, I, I kind of figured this one was really like a strict masseuse because the name of the company was it was like a company. So uh, I was supposed to be there at five, but I was. We don't to, jerk you off, massage exa exactly. company. Do it, yeah, exactly. Do it yourself, Inc. It was uh, maybe you should uh, name the company for all the other guys out there because it's a legit place. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, here's what happened. I think it would be bad if the guys are calling up like there's a million guys calling up going, "Hey, I know the best place well, like this." This dope. Cisco in Jersey. <laughs> Cisco. Dope. Yo, how you doing, Jimmy? Hey. hey. Listen, if you want a real good massage, I know where the place is to go in Jersey. It's in Jersey, but they're fantastic. Um, the girls are Brazilian. Uh, they'll give you a good massage, and when you roll over, they'll do every, anything you want, even Greek if you want it. Oh, cool. I like a girl who speaks Greek. Uh, <laughs> they, they speak it and they do it, my man. But it's fantastic. If you want, uh, you know, I'll hold on. If you, I'll give you a few numbers that you can go to, and uh, they'll take care of you. And just mention my name, you'll get in the door. You don't have to worry about paying the desk. Just mention right. my name, and you just tip the girl. Okay, right, thanks. Yeah, just hold, be on hold. There you go. The guy okay. didn't blow up their spot. Not bad and, rep the Greek Scott. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what they get. <laughs> Fucking. Uh, so anyway, six o'clock. I, I am having blinds installed. My 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 shoulder shades came. Congrats. Thank you. And um, I knew I was running late. I had a 5 o'clock appointment. So I called her like this. Like, I'm not sick. She was 5. So I called her like 4.15. Like, I'm going to be late. Because she knew I was doing I just booked it like 1 in the afternoon. I'm like, I'm having the stuff installed. 
So I was late, and I told her, I called her three times, just because I'm very courteous like that. Mm. And I get there, and um, I know she's legit the minute I walk in, which is fine. I could care. I just, I want now, how do you know? The the atmosphere, the setting, it's like yeah. in an office. It's, you know what I mean? You just right. kind of knew. This is kind of good for the people out there, so they know when they walk into a massage place. Uh, not to say, hey, could you stick a thumb up my ass and play with my balls? Yeah, no, I wouldn't have done that there. And I didn't really care about that, that at that point. I actually wanted a massage. I'm like, yeah, let me get a real... Once in a while, you want a real massage to relax. It, like someone who... <clears throat> there's nothing better than when your spine is cracked and little knuckles on your... It feels good. Sure. So I walk in and I get it and I'm on my stomach and she was like, well, do you want to do an hour and a half since we started 25 minutes late? And I'm like, nah, I would rather just do um the whole hour because I had to work at Villa. And uh, I, I had to wear the towel the whole time. You know, I was joking about how I hated the towel, but she was, I knew it was not yeah, coming off. It's not it was happening. Fine. And it was, not, it was a decent massage. It's a joke. I was joking about I, not I liking the towel. I was kidding. I was kidding. I was So um, all of a sudden, this massage seemed a little short. She stopped at 40 minutes because that was technically the end of when the hour would have started had I been on time. Whoa. That and, ain't good. And I'm like, but I called you. I did on a credit card too. Like you had to hold the appointment on a credit card. Um, it's another sign that that's a legit place. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and she's like, "Well, you know, we have a policy." I'm like, "You're the you're the proprietor. It's your place." And that was really awkward. And she's like, "Well, you know, I'm like, this is unprecedented. Like you would charge me when I called you. You knew it was I'm a, outraged. It was, this is unprecedented. <laughs> it was like the McCarthy hearings. You've never heard language like that. Bye." <laughs> I am outraged. You're out of order, whore. <laughs> <laughs> I was so irritated. And then she was like, well, I guess I'll just charge you for 45 minutes. Um, and I knew she was afraid I was going to refuse the charges on the card. And I'm like, no, mm -hmm. just keep the money. Keep it. How much was it? 100 bucks. Regular hour-long massage. Um, which is even expensive, actually, but I mean, again, for someone that does, like, holistic, like, counseling and food, all, they do all that, like, uh, health counseling. Hippie and, shit. Yeah, 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 but I mean, it's like, it's like, it's a legit business. So I was so irritated. All I'm thinking of is just killing her on the air today. I'm like, oh, your phone is going to ring, stupid. I've never had that happen. Yeah. And I emailed her. I've never emailed somebody about how annoyed I was. I'm like, you know, you're, na you, why would you do that? Uh huh. She, she was very apologetic. So I don't know if I'm going to give the name of the place out. Maybe I will next week. But that's why you had to get the other massage yesterday. Yeah. Well, no, no some... I, I kind of knew that one wasn't going to be anything but other than a massage. Because something was missing. Something was missing, right? It was right. just a bad... It was either that or uh, write another post-it. Do something. Just another post-it. Post-it guide from yesterday. Yes, right. they referenced me again. <laughs> write it. So we referenced you. <laughs> Gotta write it. <laughs> post-it so, guide from yesterday. That was my life. That was, that was wow, terrific. you got a... Hell of a thing going on. Yes, it's called it loneliness. Take up a lot of time. It's all it's consuming. Money and is it ever fun, Jimmy? Is it ever fun? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you're making a lot of people sad. Even oh, when no. it's over. I'm just tired. When it's over. I know. I gotta tell you, I thought I was really tired today. Because uh, there's things going on and uh, I'm just exhausted. And so I, I didn't get a good night's sleep. And after hearing, uh, what, what was the guy's name? Tom. Yeah. The intern. Oh, yeah. And then Jimmy has a mellow delivery today. I feel like I'm wide awake. Yeah, I'm just really bundle sleeping. of energy. Let's uh let's say hey to uh, let's say hi to Josh in O Town. Bring it on, Hello. brother. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Tough guy from O Town. <laughs> That's the theme um, of today's show, hey, so hey, uh, I was Bring in it North Carolina. I was in North Carolina and uh they have these places called adult relaxation places. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And uh, a buddy of mine was like, hey, let's go in here and get a massage. So I went in there, and uh, he goes in the other room, and I'm just, like, hanging. And all of a sudden, this lady comes out and says, okay, you're next. I figured she was, like, the owner of the place. She was, like, 80 years old. I go in the back room, and, and uh, <laughs> she's the one giving me the massage, this, like, 80-year-old woman. and she starts Wait, 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 Josh. Was she really 80? Dude, she was very old. 60, and I'm talking 67? About, like, if she was 67, she was fucking rode hard and put away wet, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I go ahead and, and uh, you know, she starts giving me a massage or whatever, and she goes, so you want to turn over? I'm like, oh, I'm like petrified. <laughs> <laughs> not, not because not because it's not what I she planned on doing in the first place. But this lady was like, I mean. I just had the visual in my head. Dude, <laughs> uh, it was way worse than what uh, this is, believe me. So I went in and went with it. Can you imagine, though, do you want to turn over? 
Uh, um, thinking, uh, thinking about that. Uh, I'm thinking she's gonna like try to gum me or something. Uh, I'll say no. Uh, do I All right, guys, have a hey, you choice? Guys are great. <laughs> If I, I for me so. to get a good massage, a good like legit one, it's got to be with a woman who's who's unattractive, like heavy set, not fat, but like a like a, a kind of like a. I got one in D.C. Brazilian lady who was kind of like butchy. Really? But, yeah, she was that? in her forties because it was like a leg, it was a woman's hands. I don't want a guy's hands, and it was legitimate. You uh, need a little strong. Uh, well, no, no, this, I just wasn't attracted to her. Ah, I this gotcha. chick had okay. like loose skin. It was like foul. <laughs> Wait, Josh, to yeah. so finish up with you, then we got to get back to Jimmy. That's so, cool. so you turned over? Yeah, I turned over. I let her go at it. Dude, I went to an old lady one time. <laughs> her name in the... I'll even say what her name was in the paper. It wasn't a real name. It was Miss Park. And she did like some naughty... Like, hey, I'll let you guys go, man. Right, well. teacher. Right. Dude, she was awful. This is years ago. I show up at her place. And she's probably 50 years old wearing glasses. And she did some like... Discipline. Bifocal? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And it was the fucking worst. I get my pants off, and she was like trying to be dominating and sexy, but she was, I just wanted to kick her in the face. Because <laughs> she gives my little, my bottom a swat, and she goes, ooh. Like she was like looking at my penis, which was, it looked like fucking, it looked like it had just come out of ice water. <laughs> You've never seen a softer object. <laughs> and she looks at it, she goes, ooh, look at you, naughty boy. <laughs> My ass is swat with her fifty-year-old hand. I was so. So she. I guess someone who, the last guy have a rod. Is that your line? And she says something about Ronald Reagan. I forget. Really? We, yeah, we were talking about Reagan. I don't remember. What, it was so awful, and I'm on my stomach. Probably a date she had with him. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, she put baby oil on me, which is the worst massage stuff. And she was. I think Jack could be a little, and I actually stopped her. I'm like, I can't do this. I, have a, Look, I had to go just, see my girlfriend. Just get, get out of here. Was there any action going on? Was, my dick, Down below? My dick was actually angry at me. Right. For attempting to wake it up. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> Let's say hi to David in Florida. David. Jimmy, don't feel so bad, man. At least you got something out of it. I had the bitch walk out on me after five minutes. She took my money. Actually, first, it doesn't look good when she shows up in a brown leisure suit. Ooh. Wow. Was she hot? And then she just uh, looks, comes in, takes the money, gets on the phone and starts, you know, yabbling for five minutes, looking at my computer screen here, and because uh, there was some porn on it. And then she starts going out, and she says, hey, I give the dude my money. And I said, and I've been through it before, unfortunately, and it's like, i got to go out, you know, I've I got to go out with you. And I start walking out with her because I knew what she was trying to do. Yeah. And I get out there, and she starts going, well, you had adult material on your computer, and we don't do that kind of thing. Oh, and I went, boy. And she took I, the money, right? Oh. I looked at her, and I went, you're ripping me off, right? And I just turned and walked uh, away. I yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. If it's a, I ever wanted to get on Whack Bag and put the name of this company up, should. I wanted to so freaking bad, man. Go into Pal Talk and do it. Why not? They would love to tease those people. You absolutely should. Should. If it's, or put, go on Craigslist it. and post it. If it's if it's a, if it's a run and grab, go on, go to Craigslist and post it. You know, after your stool thing, you know, with your stools, I was thinking we should have some just top secret, way underground websites. It's like that movie, that old movie where they took care of justice. Michael Douglas, the chamber, the chamber. Yeah, no, yeah. no, was it the chamber? Yeah, it was no, the chamber. The, no, the star no, the something. Star chamber. chamber. Oh, star chamber. Okay. okay. Star chamber. Star yeah. Chamber. I don't know if the movie holds up, but that was a that was a terrific flick yeah. back in its How Holbrook back was in a judge. Day. Yeah. And we should have these just tell it to call you Billy. We should have these way underground websites where we take care of these businesses that are just uh, doing our listeners wrong, man. Mm. You have to, in a weird way, when it comes to massage. Like this is where I wish Keith was not such a lazy sh shit bag and came in because he's a complete filth bag and and has massage stories where he's actually almost had fights. In Keith places. Robinson. He's oh, a boy. fucking Keith Robinson, a, a guy maniac. that we know would do great radio for us, and for some reason we just can't get him in here. He loves. He loves. The, he's just. He's fucking lazy. He's, he's lazy. Is he shiftless too? Well, yeah, you know, it comes with the lazy. Yeah, right. it comes with the hairdo. <laughs> well, but he's uh, he's he has the best massage stories. Where he's he he uh, one time he said this chick showed up, this really skinny crack whore chick, and he wouldn't pay her because he won't pay her. He really won't pay. And she's like, well, I'm gonna go out and get my driver. He's like, well, bitch, go get it. And then the driver called up and goes, well, I'm gonna have to come up there. And Keith's like, well, that motherfucker, come up and get your money. You know, and, and the fucking guy, of course, didn't come up. Keith is a psychopath. He really is. And the guy could sense that this is a major problem and yeah. she was ugly. 
Uh, but whereas <laughs> me, I would have been like, yeah, go ahead, because you don't want to get maced. Um, and uh, another friend of mine whose name I can't mention had a gun pulled. I mean, you did, there were once in a while you came on to a serious. You get once in a while you got to say, gee, who would think dealing the with the of, underworld? It's the cost of doing business. It's like being yeah. involved in gambling. There's time where you're just going to lose, and it's like fucking. It sucks, and you know you shouldn't. But what was the worst thing that happened to you with these massages? Massages. <laughs> massages. <laughs> Jesus. One time a hooker grabbed my key. Oh, that's different. I actually grabbed my keys out of my car and threatened to throw them out the thing. Um, I had a hooker just... snatch my glasses off years ago. <laughs> Your glasses. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? You don't. You don't. You, you don't wear really bad glasses. All, years ago, <laughs> you, you don't. You don't want to know. It was, it's many years ago. Why did she snatch them? Off? It, well, it was, it was kind of a she. Um, <laughs> it, but it was. It was. How old were you? I'm 37, 38, 36, maybe. No, I was probably uh, early 20s, 22, and I just yeah. discovered. Fucking the trannies hung out. I really was new to me, and I was I was fucking kind of fucking with them. Like I would never stop. I would just kind of like stop, and I didn't realize that there's a wall you have. Like like my window was always open. I didn't think anyone would ever reach into the car. Uh huh. And I would just kind of ride around and like ask them questions and drive away. I was just a, the most annoying guy, and it was fun. Um, and my buddy comic buddy showed me where they were, and I stopped one time at the stop sign. And I fucking, the one who I asked a bunch of questions to just walks over and snatches my glasses <laughs> off my face and goes, for wasting my time, <laughs> and walks away with them. And I'm fucking, I'm, this is why I live with my parents. I'm in, <laughs> you gotta drop uh, off. Uh, dude, I couldn't shit. see. <laughs> I'm in fucking, you idiot. I'm, I'm at a stop sign, there's cars beeping at me, there's fucking prostitutes all over. I He's, can't see. God. A hooker took my glasses and my shoes. I could I couldn't see, literally, I can't see 30 feet in front of me, and I'm like, oh my god, and I saw a cop car, so I fucking start high beaming and beeping, and, he's, and the cop stops, I just swear to god, I get out of the car, I go, she took my glasses, she took my glasses, and the cop's like, who took your glasses? Oh. <laughs> so I, and what are you doing here, you oh idiot? Oh my god. Of course. And, uh, the oh, you were just driving by have, have, making fun with them, right? Well, it was it was kind of the truth, and uh, he just knew I was an idiot from Jersey, and he got my glasses back, and he just goes, just just go home. <laughs> just <laughs> get out of here. Just go home. If I see you here again, I'm going to fuck you. No, Snatch my great, glasses. Another great visual. Snatching the glasses. For wasting my, my time. time. For wasting my time. Let's go to Joe in Alabama. Joe! Hey, what's going on? Hey. Hey, Jimmy, I just started using a cock ring here a couple of weeks ago, and I'm getting nice wood off of it, but I'm wondering how long can you leave the thing on before you do some damage to your mule? I don't use them. Um, I would use one, if you wanted to use one once in a while, just to get like a real a, a sick rod, but I mean, uh, it can't be healthy to force your body to do something like that. No. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I, I, how long do you leave it on for? I don't know, thirty minutes or whatever. While no, that's you're doing fine. It. Yeah, sure, it's fine. You can probably leave it on for hours. It's I don't. No, know. no. It just I'm getting nice wood off of it. It's all veiny and and blue looking. It's oh it's great. Blue vein no fresh blood getting in there. <laughs> Why can't you just get nice wood? Well, I do, but it makes it feel better when you you know when you bust a nut. Sometimes you think you you get like a you know it's like soggy. It's decent. You know you need that last boost. It's like. It's like <laughs> oh. Pterodactyl we know you're in studio there, Twitchells. <laughs> All right, Joe. All right. One more here. Let's go to John on. But when I got my glasses, it was like a face slap. When she took my glasses, it was like it was like I it was like I was slapped in the face. 